Johnny? Johnny, it's Robin. <laughs> I'm here. Breaking and entering is starting to become a habit for you, isn't it? Let me guess. Patrick's upstairs rummaging through the medicine I'm cabinet. here because Johnny invited me. Why would he do that? That's what I'm here to find out. Is that a note? Yep. From Johnny? Yes. My penthouse, five o'clock? How'd you know that? Because I've got one, too. You know what this means, don't you? No. Johnny's gonna turn you in. <laughs> Hallelujah, you are finally going down. So everything's normal, I don't have to worry about my head exploding or anything? Your head's not gonna explode. Good. No permanent damage whatsoever, the headaches are normal for concussion. When will they go away? Um, well, they will go away once your inner ears start to stabilize. I'm gonna write your prescription for pain medication. Take as needed and, uh, most importantly, don't rush your recovery, all right? Yes, sir. Let me know if there's any other side effects that occur. Will do. All right. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Hey. Hey. What's the uh, status of the trauma patient you and Lisa worked on together? <laughs> Good question. I have no idea. Lisa took off. What do you mean she took off? I mean, she got a text message and she took off like a pack of wild wolves were chasing her. Where the hell did she go? The only reason Johnny would have us come here at the same time would be the syringe. Sorry, Lisa. Actually, I'm not. The thought of Johnny turning on you just, it just makes me smile. That's not what's happening. Because Johnny wouldn't do that. Maybe he would. Maybe he finally realized what a psychopath you are, and you'll finally be exposed for the conniving train wreck that you really are. God, you are so tedious. So when are you going to give this victim thing a rest? Your husband cheated on you. It happens all the time. You need to grow up, get over it, and stop blaming me for your inability to keep his interest. This is good. Just in, enjoy the denial while you can, because once I have that syringe, this whole thing will be over. It probably won't put you in jail like you belong, but it sure as hell will get you fired. Sorry I'm late. You ladies get a chance to uh, bond? What the hell is going on? <laughs> I'm guessing you've seen the light. You finally realize how crazy your new girlfriend is and you want to hand over the syringe, right? And I know you're not going to. Uh, do you, either of you realize how sick I am about you and your antics? How done I am with playing who's the whack job anyway? I've had enough and it ends tonight. And both of you are going to get a shot at the brass ring. This is totally unacceptable. Why are you on my ass? I'm here to see Robin had yet another run-in. You accuse Lisa of being a lunatic, obsessed with destroying your wife's life again. Lisa gets her feelings hurt, or her pride, or whatever drives her, and she bolts again. I'm trying to run a hospital here, Patrick. Not a schoolyard. All of that is true, Chief, which is why I tell you your anger is misguided. You're all complicit. And I'm telling you, the rampant hostility stops all right, now. How would you like me to react when a woman kidnaps my daughter and tries to kill my wife twice, I might add? You're not getting this. I changed the game. My doctors are going to start acting like doctors. They're gonna leave their personal crap out of my hospital, or heads are gonna roll. If you want your wife to keep her job, then I suggest you dust off your refereeing skills and make sure while under this roof, the nonsense stops. You ladies are going on a treasure hunt. Seriously? You're turning this into a game. You don't have to play if you don't want to. And why do I think this will be slanted in Lisa's favor? Uh, because that wouldn't make it any fun, nor would it make it fair. Now, you both know how treasure hunts work, right? You follow a series of clues, which ultimately will lead you to the prize. Now, I will tell you that it's hiding in plain sight. So it's in this room. It's in public. What part of certifiable don't you understand? If you turn Lisa loose into the world, she will find the syringe and throw me under a literal bus. <laughs> yeah, I thought of that. So, I've put each of you on different paths, which will lead to different clues. You will not see each other unless it's in passing or unless you both simultaneously reach the finish line. Here you go. Ah. 
hotter than you thought, right? Your latest test results came back clean. Your vitals are normal. Toxin is out of your system. You can go home. <laughs> That's wow. great news. <laughs> That's what? amazing. Let's see. Mm. Oh, I thank you. Um, I mean, thank you for saving my life. You're welcome. Hey, thanks. I wish you both the best. Yeah. I told you I was going home. No. Did I tell I'm, you? I told you. You did. Hey, did you get my message? Robin, what are you looking for? Well. Johnny planted the syringe somewhere, and he's left us clues on where to find it, Wait, so... What are, you, what are you talking about? Uh, don't talk about it. I have to find the syringe before Lisa does. Robin, are you saying that Johnny's got you on some wild goose chase right yes, now? Yes, both of us. <laughs> Actually. Okay, stop. Where is her Robin, file? stop for a second. You know this is a little bit dangerous. You know what you're dealing with with Lisa. Yeah, I know, but it's also our only chance to get her out of our lives forever. My clue is Josie Alvarez, so I'm looking for her. Great. What? Johnny left the next clue in the one place I do not want to go. Where's the syringe, Johnny? I'm not telling you. Robin and Lisa have all the information they need. You have no idea what Lisa's capable of when she's forced to protect herself. Tell me where the syringe is, I'll take it to Steve. He'll fire Lisa, she'll go away, and everybody can get their lives back. See, that may work for you, but it doesn't work for me. I happen to like Lisa, I don't want to see her go away. And who knows, maybe if she wins this competition, it'll be symbolic. She'll be able to put down her obsession with you and move on. Of course, then maybe not. Who knows? But one thing I do know is uh, it's out of our hands. Imagine what this looks like. I don't want to hear it. Anything. You're fired. Carly, I'm I'm really sorry. I know that this is a huge violation of privacy, but this is a life and death situation. I believe that Johnny Zakara has a clue left for me in your house somewhere, and I need to find it. You need to get out of here. Do you think I would be here if I didn't have to be? I don't give a damn. Get out, Robin, or I'll throw you out. 